Hi everybody, Stephen Aitchison here with another CYT Crypto to episode for Call of the Day and it's Sunday the 23rd of December at 9.49 in the morning. A little earlier than normal, but lots of things to do today, so I thought I'd do the Call of the Day today. Now, this might surprise you, today's Call of the Day, um, because it's a high market cap coin, but I think this could potentially go up big time. Now, normally when I make a call, uh, in the premium group will last for seven days. And I still think this is good for seven days, but I think this could be good for even longer as well. And a lot of people are talking about it, a lot of people hate it, a lot of people love it. But this one, I'm going to show you a pattern uh, as well as looking at the charts and thinking why it's going to go up. But I'm going to show you a kind of pattern that might make you change your mind about XRP. Might not, but it might make you change your mind. Okay, so today's coin of the day, or call of the day, sorry, is Ripple, XRP. And I've called it in a premium group, I've just called it um, like half an hour ago, um, 9,148 Satoshi. It's currently at 9,176 Satoshi. And this is looking at the four hour charts. We're looking at the four hour charts, about to cross over there. It's looking good overall, um, kind of on an upward kind of trend here. So it's looking good overall, but I want to show you something else that I've noticed. And if we go to the weekly chart, and we're going to go to a different, we're going to go into Poloniex, because that gives you a longer time frame for Ripple. If it's on Binance, obviously, um, it just came onto Binance in 2017. But I want to show you something. This is on the weekly chart. And we're looking at the 7 EMA and the 50 EMA. So this is the kind of um, scales that we're looking at just now, the indicators that we're looking at. So on the 20th of March 2017, the weekly 7 EMA crossed over the weekly 50 EMA on the 20th of March and kind of climbed. So it climbed up by, you can see the top was about 24,000 by 2,198%, 2,198% gain. Now, you might think, what to do? But the same happened again in kind of January, December time, 2018, at the end of 2017. So we didn't have a crossover again for another, what was that, kind of nine months. So we had a crossover nine months later, and look at what happened here went up 421%. We've never had a crossover again for a full year until now. Until kind of November time, we've had the weekly crossover on the 7 EMA crossing over the 50 EMA. Now, okay, what would happen if it just kind of went up 420% from here? If it went up 420%, you can see the time scale's not even there for it. So if it goes up 400% from here, we're talking about 36,000 Satoshi for a 400% increase from here. Now if you got 1,000% increase, obviously, that we're talking up to 90,000, 100,000 Satoshi. But we're going to be extremely conservative and say this could go up. Looking at kind of history, and I know history is not a kind of a predictor of the future as well, but if we look at the crossovers as well, but also the sentiment, and the news coming out about XRP as well. Um, you could, you can't kind of watch any crypto channel at all just now or any crypto kind of news website without them talking about Ripple. Ripple is going to go up by how much it's going to go up. We just don't know, but I think it could easily surpass its all time high of 25,000 Satoshi. When do I think it's going to happen? And um, we're not talking two years, three years, four years. I'm talking within the next couple of months. And so this is my call of the day today. Now, I don't know what's going to happen within the next week, but something is brewing just now. Something is bubbling up just now, and I think we can easily surpass 10,000, 12,000. So we'll be looking at the levels for, and we'll just go back to, we'll go back to the daily chart just now and look at where it kind of could go, what levels we're looking at to kind of get to. So we're looking at, first of all, the first target really is about 10,400. That's the first target we're looking for. The next target 
looking for, obviously we want it to go through resistance, say 12,000. And this could be within the next week. I don't know if that's going to happen for the next week. I'm looking around about 14,000 for that. So the first target, 10,484. So it's about 15 or 1,400 away from here, 1,300 away from where it is just now. And I think that's going to be um, achievable for um, Ripple to happen within the next week or so. Even though the Christmas period is coming up, um, well, the Christmas period is here just now, but we're talking by the end of December. Uh, and I think it could go higher than that. But this is my call of the day. And really, we're looking for a 10% gain from here. 10% gain would put us about, say, 10,000 Satoshi. So that would give us a 10% gain, which is good in these markets. This is um, a quick trade within the next week. So if you got 10% gain in a week, that would be fantastic. But I do think it could go higher, kind of longer to mid-term, um, or kind of short-term to mid-term. So that's my call of the day. Um, if you want to join us in the premium group, you can. There's a link down below for you. And remember, thus, this is just for entertainment purposes. It's a biased opinion um, of mine as well. And I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research. Put your big boy pants on, big girl pants on, all that stuff. Um, but that's my call of the day today. And I'll see you tomorrow for another call of the day. And I'll be doing a live tomorrow as well. Okay, until next time, namaste. Take care. Bye now.